what's good boys welcome back to another video <coughs> today or i should say tonight it's like 11 o'clock at night me and old junior we just rolled up to uh land between the lakes so we got like 10 more minutes to get to our camp uh moses is already here bubba to brian isaac they're all rolling up here in a little while uh me and junior just rolling up so we had to stop at gas station Pick up the snacks. Comment down below what is the best tree stand snack out there. I want to hear it. That's Junior's favorite. Oh, here, right here. Check them deer though. About to nail some deer. Yeah, right? big old bobcat. Big old bobcat. About to nail some deer without even hunting yet. Right. So, whatever, guys, guys. It's like 11 o'clock. Game plan for tomorrow. Um, I think Junior, you're sitting. If I'm not mistaken. I know me and Bubba plan on driving around. I'm guessing Isaac's going to join us. I think Moses is sitting. Ryan's probably going to sit somewhere around where he's going to sleep in. I don't know what the plan is for that. But fans were rolling up so late. I know a spot I'd like to go sit, but I'm just going to start sitting tomorrow evening. So, anywho. So, whatever the case, guys, y'all stay tuned. I'm not sure if I'm going to make this a. Uh, Two part video like I did last year, probably not. It's gonna be a longer one, but uh, it's gonna be a nice, fun, long weekend. I'm gonna have a good time. Hopefully, we all bag a deer this year. That would be awesome. So, big bucks would be the preferable, pre preferable, preferable uh, plan. So, y'all stay tuned, guys. Deer are gonna die this weekend. If nothing else, we're gonna have a good time. Hunting camp always just gotta love it so y'all stay tuned and uh we're gonna get to it hello guys i can't really see me but it's the first morning i am the only one out which is okay because uh i can understand the other guys the other group got in like midnight so i had a pretty late night so they're all gonna just stick it out of camp and sleep in a little bit so I'm going to go out to glass and fields, uh, look and see maybe if there's a possibility to get on some spawn stocks. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to go look and see if we can't find some deer. I've already got two places where I'd like to sit this evening, so we'll see what happens with that. And then uh, we'll head back to camp, eat some breakfast, shoot bows, and have a, have a blast, boys. Alright, just spotted our first deer, so... It's in the safety zone right now, but it was a little bit about to cross the road. So I'm just going to sit up here and a little pull off. And glass her a little bit. If you can see her. A little bit jumpy but it's just two little bucks so I'm gonna end up not waiting on them and uh, keep driving nice little six point in a spike so anyway I'll keep on moving <sighs> got back from the hunt just chilling with the boys uh, huh? Brushing teeth. <laughs> I like it. Hey, gotta keep the hygiene up. I've never, I never brush my teeth. It's a problem of mine, honestly. Hey, ain't gonna lie. New favorite thing, blue luminox. Check us out, right? Like, like seriously. Things are awesome. Anyway, we just chilling. Brian's sleeping. Moses is doing acts of nature in there. So, I don't know where Junior and Isaac are at. They go. Wait, didn't, did Isaac just send something on the group chat? I don't know. Seeing a notification. But, anyways. We're dive for the night. The arrow's gonna drop. 
All right, so first of all, this is Duran's first time professionally shooting bow. So we got our uh, gripping competition. We're down there at 30 yards. Look for the luminar. Beautiful. So basically, you shoot a grouping as tight as you can. Whoever has the tightest grouping wins it. We do it every year. So last year, I think Moses won. The year before that, Bubba won. So we're seeing who's going to win this year. The Ryan's looking pretty good for the first time. But anyway, we're going to get after it. Ryan already shot his first one. There you go. And keep in mind, this is Duran's first time shooting bow, so I mean, hey. Yeah. He's only missed the target once. No, sorry, twice. 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 But that's not bad. Like, really. Guess didn't pack the bow in yeah, that was my fault. <laughs> not bad, dude. Not bad. We'll go get a measurement. Get the 100 foot tape measure just in case of something crazy. With an inch, I thought about doing that, but I can't see the back of the tape anyway, so I almost just measure right to this every time. Ten and three eighths. Ten and three eighths inch group. Next up, Mr. Hofer. That's the humble man. That's the humble. <laughs> Oh, it's actually nerve-wracking. Oh, it is. Pressure. A lot of money on the line, man. We're each putting in a hundred dollars, right? Right. That's it? That last one screwed me. Alright, there it is. Let's see what we got. He's literally hitting the glitty in the woods. Five and seven eights. Five and seven eights. Okay. Not terrible. Next up is the bow giveaway winner himself shooting the V3, boys. All right, here we go. Center. Oh, the, the foot kicking everything. Not bad. Talking in the talking in the backswing. Ooh. Alright. Ooh, not bad. This one's kinda of different. No, I gotta be on the white. Six and five eighths. Yeah, yeah. right. Uh, it's literally exactly. <laughs> Next up, Moses, reigning champion, trying to go back to back. He needs five and a half to high. win. Five and nine sixteenths. Not five and nine Wait, are we going by sixteenths here? I ain't seen a sixteenth land yet. <laughs> Pressure is building. I'm clipping branches. This is suspenseful because we can't see where the arrows are at. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't realize it was that lot. There you go. Yeah, that's 
It's not even close. I have it better than three quarter. Seven five eight. Oh come on! Ta da! Yeah, Your boy won. Six and five eighths. Side. Five and seven eighths. How does it feel? Yeah, first win. First win. Actually, I for as cocky as I normally year. am with this, <laughs> I'm normally a cocky little bastard. I feel like we've upset you the last two years, but finally, finally pulled through. It, it could be the new bro. Oh, it has anyway. hasn't won yet. Yeah. I've been, we've been coming for five, four. I've been coming for four years and ain't won yet. So. Yeah. Congrats. Well, Congrats. First time for everything, boys. Let's go. All right, pay up, boys. <laughs> <laughs> On. the evening hunt had a lot of fun this afternoon just you know derping contest the podcast so uh had a good time but now i'm up here walking from the road i cannot believe there's still mosquitoes this time of the year we already had a frost here in tennessee so it's ridiculous but uh anyway it's october the 21st we uh hiked up in here Probably about. Hiked up in here about 300 yards. No, not even a little more than that, actually. About 400 yards. But, uh. Walking in. It's really nice and open up in here, so that's one thing I'm looking forward to. But, uh. Walking in, I spooked two deer. So I don't know if they're out of their beds or if they're up and walking around yet, but. Spooked two. Couldn't quite get a good look and see what they were. You know, just adjusting the rope on that. That was kind of sketchy, but anyway, we're in a good spot. So hopefully we can let the uh, let the phase four eat tonight. So anyway, y'all stay tuned and hopefully we get one. somewhere near 25 to 30 or something like that. So, anyways, for us that are out, this may be the last day. I don't know. I might be staying the night and hunting tomorrow morning, but we'll see what happens. Depends if anybody kills today. So. <laughs> Y'all stay down. <sighs> I'm shaking, boys, but just had a doe come through like this. She come through just like spooked up. Let's all get out. She came in blowing all the way from the road. And I heard her probably from 100, 150 yards away. 
Another GoPro for me once we run out. All right, guys, we're just doing a quick tour of the campsite. We got some pork chops on the grill that's been on there for about three hours. We're just kind of <laughs> pulling out with some arrows. See, what we're doing here is we're trying to draw this blood out on a nice, smooth, um, slow roast. And we're just kind of crisping the edges and we're scraping and we're keeping going and going. So it's giving it a little bit of a harder, drier taste. Size, cutting it up, get a little airflow in there. Gang, gang. Ryan is um, actually practicing the blind shot. Here at PCF hunting camp, we do a lot of mental, a lot of mental training. Because when you actually get in the woods and that shot, nothing can actually prepare you for it. But we try putting in as much work as possible. So. He's actually working on his eye focusing right now. He does a lot of this. That's why he's actually one of the best out here. He just doesn't know it yet. One of the best. Just look at that. You only get one shot at this deer and he's gonna make it count. He's gonna make it count. Look at that. Just getting everything dialed in. Love to see it folks. One of the best, one of the best. James, this is actually his first time here, and he's hoping to become one of the greats. Um, I'm actually going to give him a little interview. What inspired you to start deer hunting? Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> How many deer have you shot one. in your life with a bow? No. So this is your first time bow hunting. I see, I see. So how much work have you been putting in this off season to be, be in a position just to be ready to be able to secure your first animal? One hour. One hour. That's a good time, that's a good time. How have you improved your mental game? Not a lot? No. So it's kind of a new aspect to you, isn't it? So what we're actually gonna do um, in this next session is we're gonna put you with DJ and he's gonna run you through how he goes about his mental game in preparing to shoot an animal with a bow. One of the best teaching one of the future best. All right, Dryden, you just want to go, <laughs> go through.
sit till nine. I'm gonna go clean up camp and uh, go get Junior. So hopefully we get a shot at something here soon. Though. Got a scar on my third knuckle from stretching barbed wire fence, and my fist got me out of more trouble than it's ever got me. Right All right, guys, it was a, an awesome week. Um, I like. I think everybody saw stuff about every sit.